So today I'm gonna have an interview with uh, one of my favorite escrow uh, uh, persons, uh, and I use her in my transaction, my last, my last uh, transaction. Very lovely, easy to work with. So uh, tell us your name, uh, your company name, and uh, how long you've been in business. Sure. So my name is Sarah. I'm with Pacific Coastline Escrow. I have been with this company for five years, but I've been in escrow for, I think, 11 years, a little over 10 nice. years. Nice. In real estate total, I've been in real estate for 20 years um, and loving every minute of it. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Great. Great. Well, I had a great transaction okay. when I sold my property in Tehachapi. You've been yes. a godsend. So oh, I'm happy you. that thank I you. didn't choose other than uh, Sarah oh, to help me with the escrow. We work really hard to make sure we cross every I, dot yes. every, wait, cross every T, dot every, every I, I exactly. <laughs> on every transaction. Exactly. And exactly. we're a full service escrow company to make sure we give the utmost professionalism and customer service for every client. Amazing. I mean, mm -hmm. I think Thank they you. would expect that. Yes, from of you. course. So, Sarah, I'm going to ask you a question probably you've been asked so many times. Sure. What is an escrow? So we are a neutral third company in the transaction between the seller, the buyer, their, represent their representation, their realtors. Um, we are here to take their fully executed agreement and put it into action, basically. We are here to escrow the funds between the buyer and seller as well to make sure that everything stays per the purchase agreement, per the terms of their contract. Perfect. And no, nothing slip out of the cracks. Right. And right. From start to finish, as soon as we get that purchase agreement and everything's fully executed, we are here as just a neutral party to take the instructions of the buyer and the seller on their agreement to sell or transfer their real estate or their real property. Mm -hmm. So, Sarah, I always... Uh, uh, tell my clients to use escrow in every real estate transaction, but I want you to tell me in your own words, why do we need an escrow in every single real estate transaction? Yeah, I mean, I definitely would make sure we, it's recommended because if anything goes wrong and you're communicating directly with the seller or directly with the buyer and you get to a point where neither side is agreeing, I mean... The escrow company is here to take that instruction. We're neutral between the two. So we're here to make sure nothing changes without the other one agreeing or deciding. When you don't have that neutral party, you just don't know how it's going to go between the two parties going back and forth and not having a mutual instruction when anything changes, right? So it's dangerous not it to have an escrow. Be, yeah. yeah, and you wanna make sure all the proper forms are drawn, all the proper documents are recorded. You know, if there's a chain, a break in the chain of title or if something needs to be recorded for protection purposes, you know, to make sure that nothing comes back and buyer and seller can sue each other. You know, it's exactly. important to have Title, escrow, and your realtor, of course. You pointed out to me last time in the last transaction that there are forms that need to be submitted to the city of Tehachapi. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know, thank God, that I have <laughs> you on my side. Yeah. And we were able to get the, the fire department forms on time mm -hmm. because they take forever yes. and you've been calling them oh over and over. If yes. you remember, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. yeah. All the files that have that wildfire, um, it's the newest kind of regulation that the state of California has put on areas that are severe severe and high fire hazard zones, mm -hmm. that you have to have the fire department go out to the property and do an inspection of the defensible space around Ex the home. Exactly, that's exactly. And it can take a few weeks, unfortunately, <laughs> because the fire department isn't really structured to have this set up yet. You know, it's, exactly. it takes a long time to get that done. But there are city reports, there are HOA docs, there's a lot of things that can be part of a transaction. And if you didn't have escrow or your realtor, or you might not know what's required for your city or for your community if there are exactly, things exactly. when you transfer and sell a property. So that's, uh, uh, Sarah, that's another frequently asked question. Mm -hmm. What is the typical uh, process, the typical length of an escrow? It really depends on the terms of the transaction. So if it's all cash, they can close rather then quickly. Then it's faster. Yeah. 
but also depends like does the seller have a mortgage is there an hoa is there a city report yeah it can take longer depending on what we might need to do in order to close but if it's all cash it's usually a, a little bit of a quicker escrow more dependent on you know the seller and the property and the location of the property would determine if it needs to be any longer than maybe 10 15 days um a standard escrow is usually 30 days when it's a loan when it's uh, yeah. a city requirements mm -hmm. 30 days sellers need more time to move so they want a longer escrow or sometimes there's a 1031 exchange or sometimes the buyer might need to sell a property in order to purchase to this purchase one. so it could be 45 or 60 days kind of just depends so it's on variable. the terms exactly mm -hmm. yeah awesome so this question, Sarah, is uh, one of my favorites. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is the difference between a company, well-reputed uh, company like you, full service, versus the, the flat fee escrow companies? Yeah. Why we should choose a full service and not the flat fee company? Yeah, I know there are a lot of companies out there that offer like a flat rate, um, no matter what the price is. Typically, our escrow fees are based on the purchase price of the property. That's yeah. typical for the industry, but there are some companies that are doing flat fees. Um, we definitely strive on making sure everything we have is up to date we're meeting all the codes all the civil section codes the city requirements we're making sure that everything that needs to be done in our file is done from top to bottom we help you if there's a city report if there's an inspection for you know the fire hazards or anything like that we also cover cyber insurance um it's not a requirement that is very important yeah not a requirement of escrow companies to have cyber insurance and that goes into our fees you know making sure that if there's any kind of cyber Attack, attack claim we have insurance for that so it it all goes into our fees everything that we have that we offer we also have encryption so anything that we have to send securely we have a separate company that handles all of our encrypted secured emails we have a tech team standing nearby as well as you know there's so much wire fraud email yes. hacking we have someone constantly monitoring our server cyber insurance i mean we are doing everything we can to make sure everything is secured customer service is key we work and earn every escrow fee that we file you know that we have mm -hmm. escrow uh, uh attention and um the, the the customer service is something i really like because when i call you like the response time is so short yeah. that I really like it and I know there will be no delay because yes I, I make myself accessible to all of our clients you know I I have no problem answering the phone yes. you know meeting yes. people notarizing you know we have our Maricela and Karina on my team who are bilingual if you have clients that speak Spanish so we work really hard to make sure that we can cover all bases awesome awesome can you Sara this is the last question yes. can you Tell the audience how do you, uh, w what do they expect when calculating the escrow fee according to so your fee? It, there's a lot that comes into play. Again, it kind of depends on the terms of the contract mm -hmm. and the area. Like if there's city transfer tax, county transfer tax, if there's supplemental taxes, property taxes, you know, those all get- All adds up. Mm -hmm, all gets into consideration. Um, commissions payoffs if there's and the a mortgage, sale of price as well mm -hmm, exactly and if the buyer has a lender the lender has to give us all their fees you know credit report fees appraisal fees mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. could be different things that come across so it's hard to really say specifically but depends on the contract depends on the property if there's an hoa if there's a city requirement any retrofit requirements could come up so it kind of depends on that but you always know you're going to have your price you're going to have title fees you're going to have escrow fees you're going to have real estate commissions and then some miscellaneous things here and there so it just depends but we're always happy to provide seller estimated net sheets if you or your clients ever want to see what their estimated net might be awesome well, thank you so much, uh, Sarah, for this lovely interview. I hope you guys have a lot of information gained today and you feel more confident to choose your escrow and you choose the escrow wisely because it's one of the important steps of uh, the real estate transaction is to choose the right escrow for you, the one that is local, familiar with the 
uh, laws and 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 uh, requirements, city requirements, because it's it could make your transaction much much smoother or very difficult, unfortunately. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Thank Sarah. Thank you. Thanks for having for me. For your time. Anytime. Awesome. Thanks.